Hey guys, it's Jonesy. Today, uh, just going to do a quick video on uh, a setting uh, that I had a bit of trouble trying to understand with the OpenTX software uh, in my new uh, FreeSky Tyrannus. Um, and it basically uh, revolved around uh, the mixes uh, and the inputs. Um, now this what we have here is a typical uh, scenario after running the new model wizard uh, and selecting a, a delta wing uh, we end up with uh, these inputs created uh, and also these uh, mixes um, on the aileron and elevator uh, now these uh, may or may not be correct for your delta wing um, these were for my tech sumo and I actually had to uh, change some of these around from negative 100 to positive 100. Um, this will all depend on uh, if you've got your servos mounted on the top or the type of servos you've got. So um, that's kind of irrelevant for this anyway. So um, basically the, the problem that I had or the thing that I didn't understand was uh, when we go into uh, one of these mix uh, settings, um, under the mix source, we have the uh, input 1, 2, 3, and 4 for the aileron, rudder, elevator, throttle, aileron. I think I got that right. Anyway, um, and then we also have the same set here without the I1, 2, 3, and 4 in front. Um, and I basically didn't understand what the difference was between these two. Uh, a lot of the videos that I've watched on YouTube on how to set up Tyrannus and OpenTX um, was always just using these ones here. There was no reference for these. So I don't know whether that's a um, 2.x uh, OpenTX software change um, and the previous one didn't have it. Um, but I um, basically ended up um, playing around with this and have worked out what it all means and um, I thought I'd do this video just in case it would help uh, someone else uh, un understand what the difference is. So um, I'll just cancel out of there. So as I said before this is the typical setup that you end up with uh, when you do a, a delta wing model wizard um, and over here um, we don't have a rudder on a delta wing so I'm just going to delete that because um, it's not required and it makes it look a bit better. Um, so the, the, the cut to the chase, the fundamental difference between the um, input channel or the I4, the I1234 and the option without them is whether the settings that you've applied uh, over here in the inputs actually are read before the settings in the mixes are applied. Um, now we could quite easily just go into the mixes here and um, for example change the weight or the, the throw of one one channel um, so we can do some tricky things like having more throw on one channel than the other um, which is fine, um, that can be done but the way this works over here on the inputs is um, we've got a hundred percent and I'll work on the uh, the the weight uh, just as an example we have a hundred percent weight uh, on the aileron channel um, when we create a mix with the i4 aileron channel over here uh, we also have another percentage value. Um, now if we're using the I4 as opposed to just the, um, the aileron channel without the I4, what that is saying to this mix is we need to find out, we need to apply 100% of whatever the weight is over here. So um, under normal circumstances if we just created this model and we had 100% of 100% we should end up with 100% throw on the aileron channel too. 
Uh, so we'll just have a quick look at that um, one here. Um, and if I, if you look at um, channel two here, um, I'll move this across, and we've got a hundred, and go the other way. We've got a hundred. Okay, so if we were to change this to fifty percent. Okay, now what that means is because we're using this I4 setting, um, these weights here will be applied uh, with these ones as well. So we now go into this mix. This mix is now saying we want 100% of 50%. Um, so um, I'll, I'll go into why this is a lot more flexible in a sec, but I'll just go back to the simulator and we'll have a look at at this one so what we should end up with here is a hundred percent of fifty percent so if we go into the simulator for the aileron channel um, <coughs> which is channel 2 if we watch channel 2 again um, we should now get 50 so a hundred percent of 50 is 50 uh, so that that's easy enough to, uh, to, to kind of understand um, if we went back into here and we changed uh, down to the aileron setting here that doesn't have the input in front of it, uh, what that means is the mix for here is going to directly take uh, the output of the, the rudder, uh, the, uh, the aileron channel without applying this first. So what it, whatever the stick movement is on the aileron channel, uh, which typically will be, you know, proportional, one to one, um, it's going to apply 100% to that. So if we go into the simulator again now um, and look at channel two, um, this one here, we should end up with 100%. So that's no longer taking this 50% weight here into account. So we're getting 100 100% of the actual input of the aileron, which is 100%. Um, so um, you can choose to do it whichever way you want. Um, if you choose not to use these um, inputs and the settings over here in addition to these, um, which is would be by doing it like this, um, you have to go through, if you want to apply the same weight to multiple channels you have to go in and edit, edit each individual one so that's where this becomes uh, a lot easier and just let me change this one back to that um, now where this becomes where this makes it a lot easier is over here um, the i4 aileron channel um, my this is a pretty simple model so it's only got uh, the two channels mixed. If I had multiple channels mixed and I was reusing the aileron channel multiple times, um, I would have to go in and edit each one of these um, to apply the weight to it. Um, whereas by doing it this way, um, because every single time we use this I4 channel, we, we're taking 100% of this here. So. Um, by changing it here, it automatically applies to every single time we've used the I4 uh, in a mix on this side. Uh, so yeah, I hope uh, that was helpful, um, and thanks for watching.